Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome back to Tuesday's Treasure. I am so excited to have all of you here with me, whether it's right now or in a few days from now or later. I'm just so excited that you are joining me and I hope that you are having a great morning so far. Please let me know if you're joining me. Just want to say hello. I am, yeah, having a great morning just sitting and looking outside right now and I'm grateful for um, the time that I got this morning with God and I'm just excited to be able to share what God has been teaching me. Hello, Brittany Grace. Good morning. You have a very beautiful name. Good morning, Moretta. Um, I am so grateful that both of you are joining me this morning, and um, I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Today, I um, I just woke up thinking about friendships, and I know that we've talked about friendships, and um, <laughs> I love that you love your name, and I have been just really thinking about one friendship that has really stood out to me in the Bible. And there, there are so many, but the one that I really love has been the friendship that Moses and God um, had. The scripture that, that stood out to me that I thought about this morning was Exodus 33, 11. And says, the Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. And so I've been really thinking about friendship because this past couple of, of months, you know, that I've been, um, that we all have been social distancing and quarantine. And then when the pandemic started happening, I was really determined to grow in my friendships. Um, and my friendship with people, but also my relationship with God, my friendship with him, seeing that it's so important and both are, but that my friendship with God has to be a priority. And so, you know, just thinking that people can never um, occupy the God shaped space in our hearts, in my heart. Um, no matter how devoted they are or thoughtful or encouraging or almost perfect these people are, um, they can never replace God or, or that place in our hearts for God. Um, and a lot of times we can want to put, you know, our, our siblings or um, just best friends or parents or, you know, maybe your, your spouse or your um, boyfriend or girlfriend um, and, and put them in that place. But we can, and when I've done that with my friendships, God has just taught me, like, I always end up feeling lonely and feeling um, empty. And that's because it has to be with him that I'm getting my everything from him, my security, my peace, my joy. And then a scripture in Proverbs that has stood out to me this morning has been in Proverbs 14, verse 10. Each heart knows its own bitterness and no one else can share its joy. You know, some feelings I feel like are, are too intense or they feel it feels really emotional um, or sometimes it's just hard for me to express them or know what I'm even feeling and I long to share them, but I just don't know how to express that. Good morning, Sydney. And something that has been really standing out to me, which it's not this huge revelation, but it's not new, is that God is the only one that knows what I'm feeling. You know, when I'm grieving, or when I'm hurting, when I'm mourning, God is the only one that can really feel how painful that is, can feel that emotion. Um, and, you know, when I want to sing in the rain and I'm so happy and I could just 
um, jump for joy. It's God who can feel that. Um, and he can know that joy that I'm feeling, that emotion that I'm feeling. It's, it's him. And God alone is God alone in our hearts and knows our hearts and our inmost thoughts. Only God and not even our friends or our family, although I'm sure they are wonderful, wonderful. Um, but it's, it's God that we have to share those emotions and he's the one that can really relate to them. I always think of Isaiah 53. Um, and so I've been really reflecting on that this morning because I can want to put a lot of emphasis on my friendships here on earth, which is not bad, but remembering that my friendship that has to be a priority and the most important one has to be my relationship with God, with my father, that he is the the one that I always want to grow closer and deeper with and um, be the one that I go to first when I'm having a really hard day or that he's the one that I go to first when I'm really excited or joyful about something, that he's the one that is getting that first um, like set of Marcella thoughts, right? <laughs> um, whether they're good or whether they're not so good. And, um, you know, even when the pandemic really hit, like there is a lot, the first few weeks, were, you know, a little weird because it was so different. Like, you mean I can't leave my house or I can't hang out with my friends? Um, But at the same time, it was like, okay, like, I guess I could rest. Like, I could use this time. But the more time that was going on and on, I was like, I'm ready to get out of my house. Like, there's just so much emotion and things that were being exposed in my heart. I was ready to burst and just remembering that I had to bring all of that to him and and even realizing these past few months that my outlet has to be prayer. And at first it wasn't, it was, you know, social media or all, um, or even my friends and realizing that it has to be going to him first, um, in prayer, um, worship, like singing my heart to God sometimes when I don't even have the words to really put things um, in a certain way. And, and I think about Romans 8, 26, 27. Um, it says the spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And so just remembering that like God, God is the one who really knows my, my deepest desires and everything, even when I don't have the words, but going to him is so important. Even if, you know, it's, it's a worship song for me when I just can't, or I just sit there and I'm like, God, I don't even know what I'm feeling, but that you do and that you can help me in this moment. Um, and so that's just something that I've been really thinking about. And, you know, honestly, I don't even know why this has been in my heart, but that was the first thing that I woke up thinking about this morning about friendships and, but specifically my friendship with God, um, was something that I really woke up thinking about this morning. Um, and so for me, I'm, I definitely love going on social media, (laughs) but remembering that before I post or before I, or even text my friends, because I I enjoy texting my friends, um, that I pray more um, and pray first and then post last or text last. Um, So that has been really on my heart this morning. And Again, I'm not really even sure why that was my first thought when I woke up, but I know that um, it's something that I'm really grateful to be learning and to be growing in because I need my relationship, my friendship with God. Um, 
and for that to be a priority and how I've seen him move and change so much in my life and in my heart. Um, and just remembering that he has to be um, the friendship that I prioritize the most um, or first because friendships are important to prioritize and to help one another, but that they can't take the place of, of God. And so just something that's been on my heart this morning. And so I thought I would share it. Um, but I hope that everyone has a really incredible day. And thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Brittany and Maretta um, and Sydney. I'm just so grateful to be able to be here with all of you this morning and just sharing what God has been putting on my heart. But have a wonderful day to everyone who is watching this now and later. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.